All right, guys, you see all that wind? Got some weather blowing in. All right, storm off in the distance. You can see some drops starting to fall down here at the, uh, the Caliche, all right? Now, the thing is that this barometer got kind of choppy, okay? I'm, I'm, doing, I'm doing the second episode of the Beater Watch Vlog with one hand, so you have to excuse me. I gotta, I'm gonna press, maybe I can press it with my pinky. Yeah, there we go, all right, we're on the barometer. So, you can see the graph at the top, it's all choppy. I think that has a lot to do with having to drive out here, Carlsbad. You know, the, uh, the watch is getting bad readings because of, you know, all the altitude change. That's what I'm, that's what I'm hypothesizing. The altitude showing us at 3,330 feet. And again, I have not, I have not yet even calibrated this. Maybe in an upcoming vid, we'll, uh, we'll find a benchmark and, uh, and put this watch and the GBDH 2000 on the benchmark and calibrate it. But anyways, uh, that's what we're seeing here. So this, this overlay showing that, that the, the pressure, uh, the, bar the barometer's gone up. Right, and there's wind blowing in, so could be correct. Uh, but again, this is I'm on the edge of an oil field location. They don't, they don't really like me filming, but there's some border bodies. Only Jose Monkey knows exactly where I am, but anyways. And the Bertucci watch, you can kind of see the loom. This was in the sun the whole drive up, so. You kind of see the loom on the hands. Anyways, I was hoping I was hoping to get some uh, tough tests this, but two drops today, a lot of hectic driving, and and not a lot of hammer swinging. But uh, the watches, you know, I'm getting I'm getting a lot more used to this watch. I'm liking it the more I wear. It seems like it's breaking in, you know, the mud man, and. Uh, and, and I was I was I was thinking that I was going to go to the gym. The first job this morning was like a low key job, and then I was driving driving to the house, thinking, all right, well I'll go to the gym and wear the, the this Mudman on one wrist and the GBD H2000 on another, and see how how they do at least you know lifting weights at the gym. But then I got called out to this other job. It's kind of an emergency, and it, and it ended up being one of those hurry up and wait jobs. I got out here now I'm on standby which you know happens a lot but uh pretty uneventful for for uh for vlog episode two of the beater watch vlog okay uh but at least you get to see some nice scenery some nice some nice clouds and uh let me let me take a look at the at the almanac all right and of course, oh no, it went back to the time screen. Okay, so the almanac's incorrect because this is set for Quidiqui. The uh, the coordinates for Quidiqui. But uh, oh oh yeah, we're in New Mexico. So one feature of this watch that's useful would be the uh, the uh, time zone, right? I'm going to scroll through again. Yeah, here we go. All right. So now this is Denver. So we are in the mountain time zone. All right. Quarter past seven local. And the cool thing is that these these buttons move uh, westward. See, this is the uh, east coast time. Or eastward. Right. Through the time zones. And I'll show you all the time in the different time zones. All right. So, anyways, there you go. Episode two of the Beater Watch vlog. And uh, if we get if we get some more tough tests, I'll definitely let you guys know. But for now, this is it. I'm Jim Kincaid. Thanks for watching.